Okay, this uh, video today is kind of just a little bit of thinking out loud. Uh, and the reason I'm making it is I'm thinking about changing my everyday carry. Uh, as a lot of you know, I carry a revolver for everyday carry. I'm kind of a revolver lover. But I used to carry 1911s. The uh, reason I'm thinking of carrying is because I have changed my backup gun. Well, in my case, it's not really a backup gun. Uh, so it's not a bug. It's not a backup gun. To me, my smaller gun isn't for backup. My smaller gun is, is more of a... Uh, there's two reasons I carry it. One, I guess you could call it a lag. Because it's my lazy-ass gun. When I don't feel like carrying my full-size gun. It's also... Uh, a uh, fag, if you will, because it's my fat ass gun. It's for when I'm wearing pants that aren't big enough to stick a large gun into, and I need something that I can slip a smaller profile gun into, which is more and more common now that I'm a little bit older. So, uh, because of changing, and I recently changed what that small gun is. I used to have a roar ball, but I've got that up for sale because I bought that new uh, Kimber 1911, and I just can't buy the Kimber 1911 without selling the roar ball, uh, or else because you know one of my sons uh, needs to go to college, at least one of them, hopefully both of them. Uh, so got to use kind of recycle funds there a little bit. So because of that, I have changed my uh, small gun to a Sig P238, and since I've changed to a Pig Sig P238, which you see here, I have thought about changing my everyday full size carry gun as well. As you can see, that uh, lazy carry gun is my Sig P238. Uh, and since I am carrying this a lot, I find that I am carrying a gun that is a single action gun with a, as most of you know, manual safety. So this gun is what I'm carrying a lot of the time because I'm getting lazy and I don't want to take the effort of carrying my full size gun. So I find myself carrying this gun a lot. I really like this gun. So end up carrying it because it's so easy to carry. And as everyone, a lot of people already know, my uh, everyday carry, my main carry, is my Colt Magnum carry. Now, the thing about the Colt Magnum carry, now it's all got fingerprints all over because it's been carried here but the thing about it is it's a little heavy but that's not the issue that I'm having it's just uh, I don't find myself wanting to put on my uh, full-size gun a lot I just throw on the little gun and I go so the difference between the two is the manual of arms you know this one is just pull and shoot cock the hammer if I want there's no safety to disengage now there's probably not a big issue between going back and forth between the two guns because, you know, what's the chances of me needing the gun quickly? But, since I do have the time and I could use the training, I figure if I'm going to have carrying this gun more often, then my primary carry should be of the same style. It should have this manual uh, safety and the single action trigger. So, you know, what's more similar to a P238 than a uh, 1911? So I'm thinking of going to a 1911. Uh, now, one more thing about the Colt, too, I will say, is these were only made one year. These were made in the 90s for only one year, so they're very rare now. It's even hard to find them on GunBroker. So uh, you, once you have a gun that's rare, that you really like, you really start to, hey, I hate to say it, but I'm starting to think this is too nice to carry and it may end up being a safe queen because uh, it may just be something I want to hand down as an heirloom someday. So this was probably going to be out of the picture for a while here. So what I'm thinking of going to, so that I have the same style of gun as this for my everyday carry, I'm thinking of going back to carrying a 1911, like possibly my Colt uh, officer's model here. Uh, maybe even uh, might carry my uh, s new uh, Kimber. Once it tests itself out, I want to get 100 rounds through it at least before I decide whether it's carry worthy or not. But uh, I know that my Colt officer's model is a reliable gun. It would have the same manual of arms. It would be pull, release the safety, squeeze the trigger off for a nice single action pull. Plus it would give me the advantage of having a 45 caliber gun. Seven round magazine, one chamber. So that's eight rounds plus one extra magazine. So that's 15 rounds I can carry with me easily. Uh, like I said, it's probably not that important because I'm probably never going to be in a situation where I have to pull my gun at all, much less quickly and be able to fire accurately fat in a fast manner. But like I said, since I had the time and I could stand the training, I'm thinking of going back to training myself more for a 1911. I used to carry a 1911, but I quit doing it when I found myself slacking on my training quite a bit. Uh, I got to a point where we were adopting kids, just didn't have time to go to the range, uh, so I just didn't want to deal with that safety. 
but now things are calming down. I got more time to go to the range. So I'm thinking of going back to the 1911. So it looks like I'll be changing my everyday carry gun here because just for the sake of doing it and for the sake of getting myself a little extra training and a little extra range time, I think I'll be going back to the 1911 for my everyday carry. Uh, oh, one more thing, I'm not the only one changing my everyday carry. As many of you knew, I made a wand for my son. Well, it turned out, I found out yesterday, it was his best friend's birthday on the bus, so he gave it to his friend. Gave it away, came home, told me I need to make him another one because he gave it away. Told him, you know, you don't get new things every time you give something away. But since it was kind of nice that he gave it to his friend for his birthday, and I talked to the kid's parents, and the kid loved it, so let him keep it, and uh, made him another wand today. Now, I didn't have... Uh, this one I made, and I left it wood tone and just stained it and sealed it. But I didn't have another skull for decorations. My son loves dragons, so I painted a little wooden ball to look like it's a dragon's eye. Boo. So now his wand has a dragon's eye on the end. And he loves that. He uh, really likes dragons. Both my sons really like dragons for some reason. The thing now with kids is dragons, I guess. Plus there's a lot of dragons in their video games and everything. So I'm not the only one in the house carrying my everyday carry. My son has a new wand to deal with his magical threats that he deals with every day and to play with while he watches Wizards of Waverly Place. So two big everyday carry changes in our family this week.